Merry Christmas! What's up, bro? Sons there and Dick Thomas. And today, we are gonna be reacting to Inside the New Super Super Nintendo World by Inside Edition. Yeah, everyone already knows they just built a new Nintendo World in Japan. I think University of Japan. Yeah. So, saw this video. I was like, I was like, might as well react to it because you know. I heard they were building it, but thanks to COVID, they stopped building it, and you know, well, they was still building it, but you know, they was building it slowly because of COVID, and because people didn't want to work and get sick, and you know, bring it to their families when they went back home, so it's like, you know, stop it, but they finally built it, and yeah, so now we are going to be taking a, a quick look, uh, inside a look inside like what does the super nintendo world have because i believe it's also supposed to be built um somewhere else I, I believe in orlando i'm not even too sure and yeah so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please hit the like button subscribe with the bell on this gonna find when upload a new video comes to it if you guys want me to react to anything else please tell me in the comments i'll check out the video and if i and if i'm interested in it i'll react to it so yeah since hope you guys enjoyed the, the video please Hit, hit the like button, subscribe with the bell on to get notified when I upload a new video. Comment when we're at the next. So let's get to the video. In three, two, one, we are back reading cheese. Here we go! Ever wanted to live a day inside your favorite video games? Hell yeah. Oh. Gamers Imagine they mean Pokemon World now. For Super Nintendo World. Universal Studios Japan had planned to delight guests with larger than life sized attractions Dang. Based on the popular consoles in the spring of 2020, hoping to grab tourists traveling to Japan for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Both the games and the opening of Super Nintendo World were pushed back due to the coronavirus pandemic. Yep. Now, February 4th, 2021, this looks sick. Universal Studios Japan plans to open Super Nintendo World to the public. For the new attraction, Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge, riders will wear specially designed augmented reality this looks sick. that put them right inside the game. This, will this looks like a map from uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Ride right alongside of Mario Peach and Bowser. Damn! Universal Studios Japan is currently operating at half capacity to curb the spread of COVID-19. So many gamers will have to wait a little longer to see what this reportedly 580 million Oh, okay, so basically it's not finished. Universal well, it's finished, Studios but it's not like built fi fully, but like okay. Inside edition Damn, I wish I could go to J Japan now. Same as video. Okay, so so that was kind of of a closer look in what does it have, but not really. It was just showing you like you know, um, there's gonna be a Mario Kart type of ride where you go like drive along with Mario and Peach, like you know VR, virtual reality, and all that. And yeah, but this really looks sick. One of the, the, this looks like the um the that one map where Bowser just punches the land and it starts going like this. Um, I think it's Bowser's ca castle, um, whatever. But it it looks like that. It's just that you know, um, stairs and stuff. But whatever. So yeah, um, honestly, this really looks sick. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm honestly interested now, and I wish I could go to Japan now, but. Yeah, whatever. Same as that, that was the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe with the bell, and it's gonna pop when I upload a new video. Comes to it. Tell me what do you guys think of the new Super Mario World, Nintendo World, and yeah. Same as that was the video. If you guys enjoyed the video. Same as that was the video. I'll see you, Bristol, later. Bye. A peace.